Hello and welcome back to Curb FM and finally we're back with rebuilding Newcastle United on Football Manager 2017 and hopefully this series will be pretty regular now until 2018 and my aim is to basically win the Premier League and the Champions League but we'll see how that goes but yeah since the last episode which was quite a while ago um, I signed some people and I know that you saw Mosty. I'm not sure if you've seen Venancio. But if not, yeah, there he is. He's a centre-back born in Portugal. And then on the last day of the transfer window, we made a double signing from Ajax, both for £6 million. Uh, We signed Zivkovic, a very, very promising striker. And we also signed Daly Sink Graven. And he's very versatile, as you can see. Two good signings, I think. Uh, definitely ones for the future. And in terms of outs, we sold Gary Hooper to Los Angeles Galaxy. Um, he just wasn't getting the games and we cashed in. And we got 1.8 million for him. We bought him for 3.6. So we made a bit of a loss. Uh, he did his backup duties in the championship well. And off he goes in January of the Premier League season. And we also sold Dwight Gale. And if this was real life, it probably I probably wouldn't have sold him. But in the game, he just wasn't getting his chance in the Premier League. He was too far down the pecking order. So he's been replaced by Zivkovic, who you just saw before. And he's gone off to the MLS also to play for Minnesota United. So I think that's a great signing for the MLS overall as well. So today we go into two games. One versus Tottenham and one versus Arsenal. And they're both going to be big games. And it's going to really decide whether we're up there with the big teams yet or not. Uh, we're currently sitting in sixth. But we could easily drop down to eighth. Which would probably see us fail to get European football. Uh, but we want to get European football this season. Adam Armstrong is third top goal scorer in the entire league. He's somehow absolutely smashing it this season. Uh, 20 goals in 28 games for him and he's improving very well. And the team sheet for today is going to be Forster in goal as always, Jenkinson, Diop, Lascelles and Robertson at the back, Mosinic in front of them as a Roman playmaker now, and Anita and Shelby in the middle. Behind the strikers, Iosi Perez up front, Adam Armstrong and Zivkovic. He's had two appearances so far and he's failed to impress. But I want to give him another chance. So today he's going to start. Um, so yeah, the only way we can get him to improve is by playing him. So that's the plan. And it's a strong lineup from Tottenham. So they've got Lloris, Rhodes, Alderweireld, Dyer, Walker, Ali, Dembele, Eriksen, Lamella, Bruma and Harry Kane up top. So not too different from the side that you see in real life. And we're going to, we owe Tottenham after what happened last time. Let's get revenge. And let's passionately say we have faith. And a fair few people look motivated and happy. So let's get into it. Now Forster kicks it up to Armstrong. Who doesn't win the header but Anita wins it back. But now Perez bursting forward. Out wide to Jenkinson. Can he find a killer cross? And it is blocked but Mosinic picks it back up. Jenkinson again. Perez out wide to Jenkinson once more. Into Zikovic. And he's scored. The faith has been repaid. Uh, Zivkovic with a good finish there. Um, Jenkinson heavily involved with that move from the off. And good cross to Zivkovic. And he's put it away past Lloris. 12 minutes in. We are 1-0 up. And hopefully we can hold on. I'm not expecting it to continue this way. I'm expecting a lot of pressure from Spurs. And yep. <laughs> They've scored instantly. 13 minutes in. Ericsson with a good goal. Danny Rose with a good um, inside run there from left back. Kane lays it off to Ericsson. Good goal. Damn it. And there's another highlight from kickoff. Hopefully it can be another goal. Uh, Rose gets tackled. And Zivkovic just puts it wide. And now Spurs again. Good inception by Shelby. Up to Armstrong. And he's just a good run from him. Now Mosinic out to... Robertson tackled by Walker. Uh, Diop wins it straight back and then loses it instantly. Uh, Bruma, good tackle from Lascelles there. 
Ah, given it straight away. Um, Bruma on the left wing, cutting inside. Kane shoots and what a goal. Harry Kane from outside the box. His 32nd goal of the season. Uh, can't take that away from him. It was a great finish. Harry Kane curls it past Forster. It's a good goal. And Shelby finds Robertson. Shelby again, tackled by Walker now. And now Spurs are on the attack once again. And it's back to Dembele. Lots of space on this left wing. Bruma into Kane, hits the post. And now Tottenham with a corner. Perez comes away with it though. And Zivkovic out to Armstrong. And he scores, what a goal. From outside the box. Adam Armstrong stepping up again. A goal from both strikers. And... Will James Wilson be able to get back into the team after this? Uh, two good goals from the strikers. And we go, hopefully, into half-time at 2 all. And, yep, it's half-time. And I'm going to say um, that we're pleased. I don't want to be negative or say not to get complacent. Uh, let's just keep it positive. Uh, Mosinic is not having a great game. So we're going to take him off for Sink Graven. And then we're going to move Anita back into the roaming playmaker role. And Sink Raven is going to play as the attacking playmaker while Shelby's going to go to box to box. So both Ajax lads are on now. And I'll take two points today. Obviously not of just this game, including the Arsenal game. Uh, it's not possible to get two points, but you know what I mean. In the two games, we need two points. Two good, two good draws it would be over uh, two strong teams. The top two in the league, actually. We have got the home advantage in this game. Um, let's just see what we can do to switch it up a little bit. And I think we're going to take off Robertson for Lazar. And we're going to make him defensive. And also we're going to put Carl Jenkinson on to support as well. Let's try and tighten things up at the back a little bit. And now we've got the ball again. Jenkinson, Sink Graven with a pass to Perez. Out to Jenkinson. And um, we've given away. Harry Kane gets past his man. And he shoots as well wide. And time is ticking by now. And for the last six or so minutes, we're just going to tighten up a little bit. Let's just get away with the point. Um, we're going to drop slightly deeper. And we're going to slow the tempo down. And um, we're going to still play out of defence. Exploit neither flank. Yeah, let's just play it wherever the safest pass is. And change it to mixed and let's waste time as well and uh, now Lazar uh, Lascelles we're playing out the back hopefully it doesn't backfire uh, Diop over to Perez and Armstrong finds Zikovic and he shoots and it's straight to the keeper and we've got one minute left of normal time uh, we're playing it round the back well to be honest uh, Armstrong Oh, he's given it away. Bruma bursting down the left into Deli Ali. Harry Kane over the bar. Nearly said Halley Kane. Deli Ali, Halley Kane. Um, but let's let's just check the formation. What should we do? We'll drop Perez back and bring on Diame. Uh, we're going to put him on box to box. And we're going to have Singraven in the middle. Uh, we're going to drop Shelby to deep line defensive playmaker. Actually, we're going to do the same for Diame as well. And set Sinkraven to support in attack. And Anita to half back. Come on. Not long now. We're in stoppage time. And it looks like it's all over. And it is. Two all here at St. James's Park. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Um, I'm just going to say, we're well done. You proved yourselves by avoiding defeat out there. Player of the match, Adam Armstrong. Strong again from him. And it was actually quite a close game. We maybe could have pushed for the win at the end, but I just think the point is the safest option. And yeah, good to see Adam as player of the match again. And it's actually his it's actually his fifth player of the match now this season. And we've just received the youth intake and it's not looking great. Literally none of these are going to make the first team, which is a shame. Which is a big contrast to last time. Where we've got Chris Jones, we've got Simon Carter, Steve Butler. So yeah, that's a shame. But at least we've got them ones from last year to make up for it. All right, so we're going to go into the next game basically with the same lineup. Apart from 
Zivkovic is going to be on the bench in place of James Wilson. And James Wilson gets the nod to start. So a bit of competition between the two. Uh, let's see if Wilson can perform like Zivkovic did in the last match. And yeah, apart from that, everything else is the same. And a fairly strong lineup from Arsenal. They've got Sanchez, Ozil, Giroud and Di Maria. Diop puts it forward though. Um, now we've got Perez in the final third. What can he do? Can he find the pass? He loses it up to the big man Giroud. Now Bellerin out to Sanchez. It's going to be a goal. Oh, what a save by Forster. Somehow got his fingertips on it. And Ozil with the corner. Cleared by Diop. Good head. And it's out to Ozil again. Mustafi on the volley. <laughs> and hopefully we can create something. But we've lost it again. 14 minutes in. Mosinic though with a good tackle. And it's hit off Perez. And now Arsenal on the attack. Di Maria down the left wing into Giroud. And it's a goal. Damn it. And now Arsenal come forward again down the right hand side. Sanchez into Giroud. The same goal just on different sides. 2-0 down. At home as well. I feel like we could have got something today. We still can actually. But... Not if they score now. Sanchez, Mustafi, good save by Forster. And now Adrian to take. It's a good clearance. Now we're on the counter-attack. Mosinic. Wilson bursting forward, using that pace to Perez. Come on, cross it. Oh, man. All he needed to do was find Armstrong. And now Anita. Perez to Shelby. And it's a goal. Come on, John Joe. Good goal from Shelby there. Good finish across the keeper. And good build up back to Perez. A little through ball through to Shelby. And across the keeper. He didn't have a chance. And it's half time then. And 2 1 down. I'm going to say we've been unlucky. A good reaction there. I know Armstrong's not performing, but I've got more faith in him at the minute than any other striker. But we're going to bring on Zivkovic and hopefully he can recreate the last game where he got an assist and a goal. Uh, but Arsenal on the attack. Cazorla, Di Maria. Good tackle from Jenkinson. Come on, let's go. Burst forward. Armstrong tackled by Adrian. And now Koscielny plays it back to Czech. He hoofs it up to Sanchez. And good challenge from Lascelles there. Good interception. And we're just passing it around in the midfield. Armstrong's through. Can he equalise? And he has. Get in. Adam Armstrong, 22nd goal of the season. Decided to keep him on despite his lower rating. And he's repaid me. As always, what a goal. Uh, good pace to get ahead of the defence. And he slots it past Peter Cech. Now we're going forward again. Perez picks it up again. Armstrong to get the winner. And possibly the winner. And it's a goal. Saying the winner, we're only an hour in, but it could well be the decisive goal if we can hold on. What a result this will be. We've gone up to 45 points. A lot of teams with a game in hand, though. Look at the tactics. Let's not try and do anything too dramatic. It's going well. Anita could possibly be replaced for a fresh face. Um, in fact, we're going to go, again, like in the last game, Sinkraven and switch him over with Shelby. And now we're going forward again. Jenkinson going forward against his old team. Um, Mustinich, now Jenkinson, Sink Graven, Shelby over to Robertson. It's got to be a goal, surely. Ah, oh, man, it's been cleared. Now Di Maria. They're going to hit us on the counter, please. No, Mustinich with a good challenge, though. Armstrong. Sink Graven out to Jenkinson. Perez! And it's straight to the keeper. Right, we've got 25 minutes to go. Arsenal is still on the attack. And Adrian Ozil. No, please. Sanchez with a goal. Alexi Sanchez. Good finish from him. A free all. A the 10th goal of the episode. And now Armstrong. Mosinic out to Jenkinson. Can he find a killer cross again? Armstrong. Come on. That's his hat trick. 4-3. The hometown hero. Adam Armstrong. Jenkinson with a good cross against his old team. Finds Jenkinson in lots of space. Uh, sorry, finds Armstrong in lots of space. And he tucks it past the keeper at the near post. All right, we're going to go to the advanced tactics again. We're going to drop Perez back. I know he's having a good game, but we might have to take him off with someone a bit more solid in the centre. Uh, we're going to do what we did last time again. Diame, And we're going to put Singraven in the middle. 
We're still going to keep the attacking fullbacks though. Uh, so we've got a bit of width going forward. And five minutes left. Diop, good head. Now Armstrong's coming forward. Uh, beats his man, Shelby. Robertson, come on. 5-3. <laughs> what a game this has been. Eight goals. Reminiscent of the 4 all draw that Newcastle once had with Arsenal at home. And the same amount of goals at least. This time Newcastle are getting the win. And we've got four minutes left. Can we get another one? What a performance. But Arsenal are on the counter-attack. Surely it's going to be the ninth goal of the game. And good save from Forster. Now oh, Robertson. Uh, Shelby. Singravin. Zivkovic. He's fast. Look how fast he is. Good shot. And it's gone over the bar though. Good play from him. And Diop. Back to Forster. We're just playing it round the back. But we've hoofed it out and we've lost it. Uh, Monreal, good challenge from Jenkinson. Now Armstrong, surely it's over if we can keep the ball. Shelby, still Mosinic, back to the defence, I'm happy with that. Um, we've gone out to the left wing now. Out to the right this time, Zivkovic hits the post. Oh man, oh no, we've lost it. Is it going to be 5-4? Di Maria into Giroud, he misses it though. Uh, the defender beat him to it and Forster with safe hands at the near post. 5-3 in 90th minute. And we're just going to drop Mosinic into the centre of defence, even though he can't play there. That's fine. Just get the numbers at the back. We know he can tackle. We know he's got the attributes. And um, this skin doesn't say how long's added on, so it's a bit nerve-wracking. Ozil. Uh, Alexis Sanchez out. And safe hands again from Forster. And it's all over at St. James's Park. What a game. 5-3. I think that's probably the best game we've shown on the channel so far. What a game. And Adam Armstrong is second player of the match of the episode. What a hero. Great performance from Forster. For a goalkeeper, 7.4 is a great game. And yeah, we're still sixth. We're closing in on... The top five. I was going to say the top four then, but no, we're no, nowhere near. A good episode. I'm happy with that. And it looks like we dominated them as well. We've shown that we are capable in this league. We're definitely safe. There's no doubt about that. Um, but can we get Europe? We've not many games to go. We've got eight games to go. A lot of teams have nine. Uh, Liverpool actually have 10. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you're upset that it's not a wrestling video, make sure you hit the dislike button, as always. And yeah, we're going to come back for the last four games of the season in the next episode. It's going to be an end of season special, starting with the tying weird derby. So that's going to be a huge one. Remember in the last one, we gave away the lead and it ended one all, I believe. And yeah, a late, a late goal from Duncan Watmore uh, pulled us back, cost us the victory. This time we are away at the Stadium of Light and we have revenge to seek. It's been a while since Newcastle have won the Time Weir Derby and hopefully in the next episode we can topple them and finally become Kings of the North once again. But if you're excited for that, as I said, hit the like button and subscribe for more Football Manager 2017 content. And until next time, peace.